Guys, I have to admit, I should have played this through before I did that first review. And let me tell you why. It was fun, but once you finish those first four objectives, this turns into a completely different game. Um, it opens up a whole new depth to this game. I had no idea because there really wasn't any reviews, trailers, anything that showed me what I could do once this thing gets unlocked. So really, I think the first is a test to see if you are a, uh, what's the word? If you, uh, good golly, man, it's too early. I'm telling you, this game is a uh, diamond in the rough. Um, hopefully you watch this whole video and you can come up with the word that I'm looking for that just is escaping my mouth. <laughs> but this is a fantastic title. It is exactly what I've been looking for on a Mars simulation game. And there are several out there. So I am just going to hop right into it because I want to show you. I'm not going to tell you the four things that I did and how I did them. You can figure that out for yourself. But what I do want to show you is what you get to do next. Ready? Go. So let's jump right in on a continue. I've already made it through several of the progressions in here. So the first four done, I did some exploration of what I could do um, with the utilities in the habitat. And here's the surprise I got. Voila. Okay. So as you notice now, the mission changes. I have different objectives. How did I get those objectives? Well, let's walk through that. So if I walk over here, there's a trading post. Now she's going to walk you through a tutorial, your subconscious. But these are like, okay, the first thing I thought is what do people need? Air and rations right okay so these are the rewards you can buy you can sell trade within the and this is just the short list of vehicles right now there's more to come there may be more in here i don't know about i have no idea and you can sell to the market that's one there's your trading post your inner your intergalactic trading post from earth second is your cpv What's a CPV? Good question. That is a basic layout. So if I scroll out here, here's the JCB. I have all of these options, core units, water collector. I can actually go in and I went hog wild and bought everything. Big mistake. I should have went for the core, but I mean, look at this. This is the landing pad. Um, good golly, generation, storage units, gotta have storage, I built one, power, duh, there's my power unit, industrial units, recycling centers, I mean, the freaking list goes on and on, look at this, bunking, housing, I haven't unlocked those yet, you have to research and there's a research facility duh <laughs> this is what i'm talking about so i actually laid these out and let me show you down here at the bottom you can actually see what's going on and as you can see electricity food i have no food i just still have what resources are in my base okay suit management you can upgrade your suit um, there's different upgrades within there. There's a tech tree. 
you can actually start to learn about different mechanics within your suit through your research lab. Keep going. It doesn't end there. Also, crafting menu. Yeah, you can take the raw um, material that you gather and you can actually craft. Now, one thing you saw at the end of the video yesterday is I was running out of oxygen. Well, no, I wasn't. There's crates out there with oxygen. Eventually, you're going to produce your own. You just actually go into your menu. If you hit the I key, you can drag the canisters up to your hot bar up here. And that's what that is right there. And I can actually hit that key associated on the hot bar. I'm not dying of oxygen's uh, 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 lack of oxygen. And here's all the stuff I built. Look at this. It's all in 3D. Why? Because I haven't collected the material yet. So right up there, if you want emergency rations, there's what I need. 10 raw carbon, 5 raw aluminum, and 10 raw iron. So this is crazy. I mean, as I start to build this out, we can start having colonists start, you know, build the landing pad and we can start bringing people in. This is freaking amazing. And look at it in daylight with no storms. This is right out of a scene with Matt Damon in Mars. I got left behind, but I'm not going to build me a little fertilizer tent. I'm building the full gusto. I'm going all out. Look, this is crazy, right? All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna gather some of these resources, and I'll show you how I did it. Now, yeah, let's go there too. My vehicle. I've already put the backhoe on there, but you can actually go through and what? A tech tree for your freaking vehicle. Crazy. How did I miss all this? I have no idea, but I did. So. I wish I would have spent 20 minutes before I did the first review because I knew I was going to do a part two because there's so much material, but I had no idea what I was in for. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to get the old vehicle out. We're going to go head off. As you can see, they actually even put a, they were nice enough to put a waypoint out there for me to go find that stuff. So let's go do it. So I'm in my John Deere of Martian transportation. We're heading out here. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is just absolutely freaking awesome. There's a the habitat. We're not gonna get lost, don't worry. It's Razor here. We Everything's under control. And we are gonna mosey on down here and we're gonna do us some collection. Now I still have no idea what keys I need to push. I'm gonna find out what that bug is. We ain't afraid of no stinking meteor shower. Maybe a little. <laughs> they do hide, they're nice enough to highlight where they're gonna land, but uh, I still run right into them. Whee! Alright, I'm going to get over to the base, figure out which key I need to actually mine that, and try to survive. I'll be right back. Man, I feel like I've just walked into World War III over here. We got some serious... Oh! Mercy sakes alive. Uh-oh. We're in trouble, folks. If we can't figure out how to... There you go. Use your brain, Razor. Use your brain. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just like a four-wheeler. It's no problem. Look at this. Coming upon our site right at... Ooh. All right. Oh, come on. It's a little copper wire. I'm, I could go right through that. I got my John Deere of Mars, Mars Exploration Vehicle here. Whee! Uh-oh. 
Major malfunction. Not a problem. We'll just get out of the vehicle. We'll do some repairs. <laughs> uh, where's my gun? Uh-oh. Maybe there is a problem. I don't know where my gun is. Oh, yeah, there's a tab key, too. You can actually look that. Pretty fancy, yeah? Anyway. We don't have any repair units. We just got air. We were so excited about leaving. We forgot our repair, so I'm going to have to hike it on foot. Leave this poor guy here. And go get my material. I'll be right back. You ever seen that movie Battle Siege? That's what I feel. There's the marker I was talking about. Whoa! It doesn't really help. <laughs> I'm in a freaking war zone here. Whoa! Oh boy. I'm telling you, this game gets my blood pressure going. And in a good way. Oh my god. I ain't scared. Ooh. Oh, but I tell you, I do have a heck of a run back here on foot. Whoa. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that because that's nuts. All right, I'm I'm gonna I've got a ways to go. 407, so we'll we'll get there. Don't worry. We made it through the meteor showers. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. I feel str so strongly about this title. I'm gonna run a live stream on Mixer today. They're gonna they're gonna be in for a treat. Not only am I gonna run a live stream, I'm gonna give away a copy of this game. Um, it's that good. If you are a spade sim or you've been looking at this or you had no idea it existed and you watched my video, tune in to Mixer later on. I'll get you a copy. Um, this is really a neat game. These developers have done something fantastic, and I'm pretty excited about it. So, running back here, remember those supply crates out front? Yeah, they refill. Um... The devs have been kind enough. I don't know that they'll stay in here because, again, this is early access. Any of this is subject to change at any time. There's balancing and tweaking that they're going to do, and as they should. So we're going to run up here. We're going to grab some cartridges, and uh, we're going to run back out and fix our hab because <laughs> I blowed it up. All right. So while I do that, um, I gotta find them. There they are over there. I'm gonna get those. You remember these right here, right? Of course you do. Hello. <laughs> o2. All right, hold on. I think I just filled up with uh, more than I wanted. Let's delete these. Yeah, I know. We can drop them. Alright. Let's go back. Let's get the repair units. There you go. It's that simple. Oh, we're going to need more than one, though. So, hold on. I'm going to get situated. Thank goodness Dark is on our side because there's a lot of daylight in Mars. Now, as you go through this, you actually get Expedition and Return to Habitat. This is your save. You can see the emergency rations progress. You can see your points. Um, it's pretty much like your survival page and your statistics of how well you're doing. I'm probably not faring so well because I started out pretty stupid. So having said that, <laughs> we're, we're now in here. Um, we'll uh, top off with some air because we still don't have air. And... In how many do I have left? Let's go back in here. So I've got five air canisters and three cartridges. So if I drag those up to my bar, just like the other, that's how they work. So we'll run over here. And Mars is not going to be kind to us. It looks like it's going to get dark. What would it 
I mean, it's not an easy game. It shouldn't be. It's a survival game, just like all the rest. We don't want O2, we want repair. Alright. Now we're going to work our way back to our little vehicle, and we're going to repair, and we're going to get back on the road and get back to this mission. Okay, we're coming into the war zone. Close to our vehicle. We're not too far. Don't forget you always got your flashlight in any in the vehicle. It's the F key And on your personal suit And as you're wondering how am I gonna carry more stuff? Well, you upgrade your suit um, duh So uh, we're making our way back through the uh, bomb zone here of meteors There's our broken down vehicle over there So let me work my way up there and we'll repair that sucker We'll hit the three key, and there is my repair gun. We're ready. Don't hit me. Oh, that's not it. I got further to go. Right, I'm gonna pause. I'm all right, trust me. I'm an expert. Oh, there's our broken down vehicle. Let's, uh... Let's fix this bad boy up. I hope I got enough uh, repair to do it. Go to the other side. Here's your repair points. We'll get there. Ah, my voice is cracking. So nervous. Pop a little O2. I'm back in our vehicle. And it's dark. We do have a light on there, though. Let's not do that again. Be very careful. Sensitive equipment. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna pause here because I don't want to make a fool of myself. You know I will. I'll do it off camera. All right, we made it. All I can say is choose your route wisely and it does tell you when you get to the area what key you need and it's the V key and you just click where you want a resource uh oh well let's get back on the V okay I can't get any closer go to V again there we go We got three raw carbon. Three more at six. There we go. We got our carbon. Now you need to pay attention, uh, vehicle range. Hit the V key again, you're back in drive mode. Choose your routes wisely. There. Weather is unpredictable. And so are the paths that you choose. And your vehicle does take damage. So do you. So we're going to make our way back to the habitat. And we'll join shortly. Alright, we made it back. It wasn't easy. But we got there. We got to drive in the bay. As you can see, that'll... That'll fix our power and repairs the vehicle. So we'll pull into the bay here. If I hit I, I can see, in fact, I do have my raw material and more. Uh, 
I don't know if I need that in my inventory or not. Let's go back in. If we go back into the habitat, it should tell us. I might need to drag that in my inventory. If so, I'll go back out to the vehicle and grab it. Where's the door? There we go. Yep. Alright, so that did in fact update. So now we need four, five raw aluminum. So, as you can see, that that's uh, the basic system in the game of resource gathering. I'm going to continue to do updates on this as I build. I just needed to show you guys that there is way more to this game than meets the eye. Um, we're going to build out one heck of a base. Um, this is something I'm going to play through and record the progress because I think this is absolutely fantastic. Um, so hopefully you guys find this video um, useful um, through my mistakes and failures and uh, just my playing through. Um, keep up to date on the forums as a progress on uh, features that are coming on the roadmap and... Uh, you know um what what's uh what's being added and and when so um anyway a short tutorial just to, to kind of conclude the preview of the game i give this game a a plus um i have not run into any bugs yet um i've had nothing but fun and excitement and uh these guys are doing a great job and i don't know anything about the indie development team i'm going to drop them a line and uh, see if i can't get some insight and uh, look forward to that uh, key giveaway on uh, mixer and if you don't know where mixer is it's mixer.com and it's also in my uh, credits so uh that's it for the the review um fantastic game and as always, you guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. This is Razor from Razor's Edge, and I'll see you when I see you.